can I build torches with just standard inventory? Yes, I can. Success. Okay, let's um, build 10 more torches. Alright, perfect. Oh, look, there's something right there. That might be iron. That very well could be iron, but let me get this uh, coal here, here first. Because, well, we need coal. Is it? Is it coal? Come on, there we go. Coal achieved. Need to clear our way over here to whatever this is. Oh yeah, and also water does follow physics, for whatever it's worth, if anyone's interested in that. Alright, time to... Ooh, look! Space dollars! Alright, moment of truth. Are you iron? You look like it. Rewarded with iron! Yes! Success! I finally found iron! That took a little bit of time. Okay, so now we can use this iron ore that I have eight of to uh, make those make those things. The, the iron ingots that they were talking about. Alright, infrared technology, go! Anything else around here that is worth finding? Um, looks like that's an open area? Looks like there's more to the cave down there. But alas... I do have iron. Do I want to go down further? I'm, I'm willing to say, ooh, we need to eat. Let's eat. There we go. Perfect. Okay, well, might as well go down. Why not? <laughs> no reason not to. So let's, uh, let's work our way down. Trick is going to be making space that we can actually walk out of to get down there. Because your character is so tall. That is the one problem in this game, is just how tall you are. But overall, I mean, still, the efficiency of all your stuff is much better now. Come on, break it all up, break it all up. I do like how just... Now, it's not exactly the most quick of operations to get down... ...to break stuff with this stone pickaxe. But, oh, I'm like right here. Okay, perfect. So let's put a torch right like that. And then we'll break right through. Come on, break on through. And ta-da, there we go. We broke on through. Success. Now we need to explore down here. Flashlight it up. Um, that's more coal. We don't want to get the coal right this moment. Let's put another torch down right right here. Oh wow, look at that. And that's on top of, I don't know what that is. But we'll break it up anyway. Uh, gravel. And I got more pixels. Success. What is this? I, this just standard dirt? Oh yeah, just standard dirt. Cool. Okay, well, let's um, place a torch. We'll place it right like that. Oh, underwater we go. More money? I know. Something else? Yeah, monies. Cool, I like how the money's just hanging out down here. I do have breathing to worry about. Ooh, okay. So we can go up here. Let's place another torch down. Like so. Man, we are like exploring nicely. It doesn't look like there's much else here in terms of things to find that way. Actually, that looks like a different material, so let's grab that real quick. I have no idea what it is, but let's go over there and find out, shall we? Oh, it looks like sand. Yeah, fine sand, what do you know? Cool. Okay, not exactly completely useful, but whatever. Also, that obeys physics, which is kind of cool. Um, Let us keep going down. Look, fishy. Are you a good fishy? Alright, so all that's down here is just this little thing. So there we go. More monies. Oh, you can actually swim by just holding the space bar. That's cool. So you don't have to worry about landing in places and keep jumping. That really does help, actually. Let's uh, get up this way and get that coal that's right above us. Once we get that.
mostly inefficient method of mining ever, the jump attack. There we go. Okay, excellent. So we explored this pretty much the best that we can. Wish I had like a map. I wonder if there is a map. I don't know. But let's get all the way back up to our base, shall we? As soon as we can get up. There we go. Perfect. Sounds like it's daytime, so we can go and explore other areas. We need probably some more wood, so that'll probably be our next little thing that we go after is wood. Uh-oh. I don't know how we're going to get up there. Let's uh, dirt block it up. Right like that. Okay, so we got some iron. We have ourselves a nice little house here. We do need more food, so I think our priority should also be to get food. Let's uh, smelt this iron that we got. Well, let's smelt some of this copper first. Smelt you. Excellent. More copper. Let's smelt our silver. Should get two out of that if I'm not mistaken. There's some silver. And now let's go ahead and smelt our iron. Oh, and look at that. We're going to get five blocks out of it. Perfect. And there we go. Five blocks of iron. Quest complete. J good job. You need a bunch of iron bars to craft an anvil. Oh. Great. Ooh, I did receive a lot of money, though. All right. So, first contact. Your ship's engine isn't yet strong enough to take you beyond the alpha sector. Craft a distress beacon, and you may be able to make contact with a larger ship. Make sure you are ready for anything before you g do, though. So, chances are um, I might get rocked by some enemies who decide to use my distress beacon as a chance to kill me. So, let's... Uh, Let's carefully think about what we're going to do here. Okay, so, what am I looking for for yarn spinner? I need wood planks, so we need to go get wood. That'll be one thing here. Stone axe. Well, we do need to make a stone axe, so we'll make that real quick so we can chop down some trees. An iron anvil costs eight iron bars. Good to know. Iron, iron lantern, iron everything, iron beds, iron everything. Okay, so we do need to make an anvil. So, that'll be our next goal, is to make an anvil. What can I do with the campfire? Or that? Nothing. Alright. So, it's night time. Let's go ahead and adventure out. We do kind of need to go ahead and get some more stuff going here. I don't have, like, a chest I can hide anything in, do I? No. Ooh, look, a birdie. We might as well shoot him down. <laughs> that sounds nice. Let's go shoot a bird. But, alas, it needs to be done. Come here, bird. Where'd you go? The bow is, like, super weak. We're dealing, like, 18 damage on... Compared to other stuff. Okay, so you're friendly, but... Oh, God, you're, like, actually... You hurt. Um, you're hanging out up there? Okay, that's cool. I mean, I could use the sword, but... If I use the sword, I think... Uh, what is it? If I use the sword, I'm not sure I actually get anything out of it. Ow. Okay, well, I got killed. So that didn't work. Alright, well, let's head back down there. Try that again. This time, let's not get killed. I did lose a lot of money. I don't even know what I'm going to use this money for. So, off we go. On an adventure. To find... Something. Um... Uh, Oh god, oh god, oh god, he's pissed. Let's switch to the sword, shall we? Oh, good grief! That guy sucks. Come on, you have to go back out. I don't. Um, yeah, all the mobs get super hard when it comes to nighttime. Oh god. Yup, that hurt. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, you die a ton at night. Can I deposit any of these monies anywhere? No, but it doesn't look like it. So I kind of am stuck with uh, losing money. Alright, so we need to rethink our strategy here as to what we're going to do at nighttime to get some of these, these mobs. 
Maybe night times for exploring only? I don't know. Alright, let's see about finding more iron. Well, man, I do need food and stuff though. Well, let's let's break down these trees since they're right here anyway. Oh man, look at this. Breaks down trees a lot faster now I'm using the an axe. Look at that. Much easier. Okay, well, let's break down this tree. Well, oh, this is going to give me fiber, isn't it? Yeah, that gives me plant fibers. Which, not a bad thing, but not a exactly a good thing. Um. Okay, he's pissed. Duly pissed. This is not exactly easy to aim with the bow. It might be worth, uh... Oh god, he can get up here. No! Gosh darn it, I need to probably use my sword first to take them down a bit, and then swap to the bow. Or I could just use the sword to kill stuff. That could work too. Alright, let's... Oh, let's stop dying, that'll be a good start. Oh look, a bird. I <laughs> missed. Or no, oh I didn't hit miss, I hit a different bird. Oh gosh, he shoots like electricity and stuff. Um, can I hit the bird? Ow! Gosh darn, I got leather out of it. That's I guess a good thing. Okay, well, um, flashlight? No, I don't want to explore down there yet. I. Alright, we'll use this to get more monies. Real quick. Hey, look. The good guys, minus the fact that he's not good. The 18 eyed monster of doom. Good grief. You die quick. Real, real, real quick in this game. Alright. Flashlight, lead the way to where I need to go. It's a ton of stone right there. That isn't exactly wood trees, those are plant fiber trees. We need wood trees. But I mean, we can just explore anyway. No reason we can't. Oh, wait. Toxic top seed. Well, that's never a good sign. Uh... Oh, poison water. That's not good. It's good to know, though. Does normal water cleanse me? Nope. Okay, so note to self don't jump into the green water. Because it sucks, and apparently that's all you do is take damage. Okay, well, let's see about beating one of these guys. Well, they're not doing too much. They do have a an attack. Oh, they have like a... They... They're not happy. What did I get out of him? Oh, I did get meat. Cool. Good to know. No. There we go. Perfect. So I'm getting leather and meat out of those birds. That might be pretty much the easiest way of dealing with stuff. Alright, let's see if I can't jump over the poison. Nope. That's gonna suck. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Poison. It hurts. It hurts. Oh man, and we got those guys too. Um, getting cold. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Let's see if this works. Teleport back up. Woo! Success! Teleporting back up gets me into my ship, which I can heal at. Or not heal, but revive a bit. Oh, look, I teleport into here. So let's go ahead and sleep and uh, regenerate health, I guess. Yes, I do regenerate health when I'm sleeping. Yeah! Okay, so we'll take advantage of that real quick. Ah, man, that was not easy. And while we're sleeping... Glitch journey begins. Read the selection. All right. So as uh, one of the few glitch to achieve self-awareness, you were forced to flee your home with little preparation. Your ship has run out of fuel in orbit of an unknown planet. Being an outcast in unsympathetic territory is hard. Being an outcast stuck in space is even harder, you find. So, um, but with self-awareness comes self-preservation. No longer tied to the hive mind, you have the capability to think independently 
and get yourself out of the, this mess, at least in theory, it's time to find out just how useful sentient thought can be. Sweet. And then uh, back to the library. So, glitch introduction. Uh, statement. Created by a mysterious race, the glitch were designed to serve a single purpose, a race controlled by a single hive mind, tireless workers who could build and create critical. The glitch were left to expand and evolve, eventually deconstructing themselves to discover they were artificial. Glitch understanding of the world led them to the realization that an artificial species must have a creator uh, s skeptical. This discovery triggered self-awareness in the glitch. Some accept their role in the universe, others began to question it. Melancholy. This caused much civil turmoil, which lasted hundreds of years. As such, the glitch failed to evolve beyond basic construct abilities, which would explain why you're stuck in the feudal age. Uh, regret. The glitch experiment was abandoned and the species was left to fend for itself. Nifty. Outcast no more. Relieved. Severed from the glitch hive mind, I feel more liberated than I ever have. Concerned, but I am alone. Hopefully there are others like me out there. Positive, I know I will find them. Curious, but now I can think for myself. Something bothers me. Reflective, who created us? Where did we come from? What are we? Determined, perhaps on my journey I will find the answers. Determined, after I find fuel. Alright, so there are answers out there. Hopefully you all join me in the adventures to find them, and we'll have to uh, see what all we can find, and see if we can find the meaning of life for these guys. Alright, so it doesn't look like there's a whole heck of a lot to build yet. So let's keep going, shall we? I do need to find more iron. Um, actually, since we have meat, we might as well cook the meat. How much meat do I have? Seeds and toxic root, a toxic looking fruit. So, note to self don't eat it. <laughs> Probably use it to create something, though. That'd be cool. Alright, so meat. Meat can take up a slot up here because I don't need gravel. I don't need dirt. And I've certainly, well, we can keep the cobblestone brick for now. We do have a lot of wood. So, what we can do is actually create. Oh, wait, we said we wanted to look at, see what we needed to create stuff. Um, yarn spinner, 100 wood planks. So let's, uh, how many wood planks do we get per? We get three. So let's actually do, um, let's do 50. Can I do 50? No, I cannot do 50. How many can I do? What is my inventory? How about that? We need to look at our inventory and see how many wood we have. We have 63 unrefined wood. So let's, no, that's not what I want. There we go. All right. Wood planks. There we go, now I can do 50. Sorry, I was clicking on the wrong thing. And then yarn spinner, let's craft a singular yarn spinner. And now I can build stuff. Wood tables, wood gate, uh, crates. Ooh, I can build crates. I'm assuming that'll hold stuff. Uh, cooking table. Interesting. Stone pickaxe, hose, dye, distress beacons, anvils. Furnace, etc., etc. Okay, well, let's go ahead and throw down this loom somewhere. A wood spinner, sorry, it's a loom if you've uh, played Terraria. Swap it out for the meat real quick. And where, oh, where can I put you? Well, I can put it on top of the crafting bench or table. That's kind of cool. We'll put it right here, though. It's starting to clutter up this place. We might need to consider expanding or something. Alright, so, ooh, I can. Plant fiber. Oh, look at that. That's how I can create stuff. Plant fibers can do that. What about bandages? What do I need to create bandages? Bandages, bandages. I saw them in here somewhere. Where are bandages? Let's see if I can search for it. Bandage. There we go. Fabric. So I can create fabric here. And I can create... I have 94. So I can create a ton. Let's go ahead and create 75. That's not what I wanted. 75 or 31. That works too. Oh, because it costs three fiber to create one fabric. Okay. Look, I can create shirts and pants. That's kind of cool. I already have stuff though, don't I? 
I'm rocking uh, noble stuff. So that's kind of cool. Low quality merchant pants, low quality noble shirt. Okay, so it's stuff that already exists. So I can craft myself that stuff, or more importantly, I can craft myself a bunch of... Where were the bandages now? There we go, bandages. Alright, so bandages take two fabric per. So let's go ahead and create ten then. And now I have bandages. Alright, so that'll help. Because now I can heal myself. Let's go ahead and put you in there. And now I can heal myself as we go. Uh -huh.